Today I'm going to take my vision for the ultimate docking station setup and bring it to life. Hello guys and welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. So lately, my workflow has really been changing. I've just been all over the place, really mobile. Uh, my university is about 30 miles away and then from there I usually go down to my community college to take a couple classes over there. Uh, so throughout the day I'm just all over the place and when I get home I want a seamless laptop to desktop experience. Now, for the past week, I've been messing around with the T430 docking station. The docking station just makes things so easy. So all I do is take the laptop, drop it down on the docking station, like that, and I have instant access to, uh, I think it's eight over USB ports, DVI, um, VGA, display port, and then I get ethernet access, and of course, um, it charges the laptop when it's on the docking station. Well. I want to add to this setup right here. So I bought a 25 inch LG ultra wide monitor, um, a stand for the laptop and the monitor. So this is just gonna mount on the side of the desk, consolidate everything. Uh, the only thing that I'm really worried about right now is the fact that both of these came from Amazon Warehouse and sometimes Amazon Warehouse can be a little sketchy. Sometimes you open those uh, packages and half the stuff is missing. Yesterday, a mechanical keyboard came in for the setup too. I was playing with it for like five hours the mechanical keyboard was garbage. I sent it back and I have another one coming in tomorrow. So that's gonna show up towards the end of this video. The LG monitor arrived in great shape. It could definitely use a uh, cleaning right here. There's some fingerprints and stuff over the bottom, but the screen looks good. Um, it came with the power adapter and HDMI cord and that's really all I care about as far as accessories are concerned because I'm not ev I'm not gonna use the stand at all. It's going right on the uh, monitor mount. And speaking of the monitor mount, um, looks like this was not manhandled too much. Um, whoever bought it and returned it uh, obviously didn't open any of this stuff yet or it appears that way because everything's still individually packaged. Um, the only problem is that if you look close, you can see a plastic piece flown around here. It's been smashed and cracked right here. And that is the bolt cover that goes right on the uh, arm right here. But... It looks like this comes with extra, so I should just be able to slap another one on on top of that. Uh, we will see as this video goes on, uh, but that's not enough damage to uh, justify a return to me. Um, this looks like it's going to be a ton of fun to assemble. I actually thought it came pre-assembled, but I guess I was wrong in that regard, unfortunately. You can also see our surge, uh, suppressor body, uh, APC uh, surge suppressor or uh, display port to HDMI. So I'm going to throw up a time lapse. We're gonna throw all this stuff together and hopefully this turns out exactly as I envisioned. Oh my goodness, I love this because I'm six foot four and the monitor's actually at my height now. Usually I'm staring down at the screen all the way on the desk, but now I can just look straight ahead and it's not destroying my neck. This is wonderful. So as you can see, I uh, made a bunch of progress so far. I started out really, really slow because I ran into some issues with the uh, mounting pole right here itself. Uh, but as you can see, hardware wise, I mean, I'm pretty much done with setting up the mounting hardware and check this out. The ThinkPad docking station is a perfect fit. So I'm gonna grab some zip ties and zip tie the docking station down so it doesn't uh, go anywhere when I put the laptop down. Uh, but this looks like it is going to turn out great. So right now I just have uh, really just a bunch of wiring. I have to cable manage everything, hook everything up, um, and then I can actually start using this. So at this point, the setup is pretty much done. Still waiting for that power cord and the keyboard to come in from Amazon. I'm gonna update you guys in a couple days uh, on how all of this is going. But first, before I call tonight, uh, I want to show you guys the nearly final product. So yes, I did manage to clean up the uh, cables personally. I think I did a pretty good job with cable management. I mean, to me, it looks pretty clean. Uh, it's a little messy when you get over here, there's like a clump of cables right here. You can see that Ethernet cable, and uh, I think that's the power cable. No, that's the uh, uh, display port to HDMI cable right there. But yeah, little clump right here. But besides that, 
it looks pretty sleek. And then if you move down here, you can see that I did find some extra Velcro to put the uh, power supply on the desk, and I have the uh, power strip right here. Uh, still waiting for that power uh, extension cord to come in so I can clean up this mess. Like, this is going to probably go behind the desk alongside under it right here. Uh, I have some cable clamps in the closet. But let me show you guys how this works real quick. So, let's say I'm leaving school. I shut the laptop, driving home, finally get home. I'm tired, you know, got to work on some stuff still. So I just take the laptop, drop it down on the docking station. And right now I'm just using it uh, as a single monitor, but I can swing this arm over, open the laptop up, and use this in the dual monitor configuration. Uh, I'm going to hit the power button, and if you give it a couple seconds, this this uh, does take a uh, couple seconds. It's not too bad. And I'll just type in my password. Can I get the second time? There we go. And you can see all my work that was up on the laptop uh, before I closed it is still there on the ultra wide monitor. Um, and the nice thing about this ultra wide monitor is that it's pretty much two monitors. So honestly, I don't even need a second display. I mean, it's there if I want it. Just swing it out, open it up, and I got a second display. Um, but I think for the most part, I'm probably gonna be fine just using this 25-inch uh, ultra-wide display. My ultimate docking station is finally complete. Now, notice how I said that this is my vision of the ultimate docking station. Some of you are probably gonna ask why I didn't add two or even three monitors, because they do sell the arms to allow you to do that, and the short and sweet answer is that, one, I didn't want to, and two, I don't have the money for that. Um, so, I couldn't really do that because when I'm recording, I didn't want a monitor getting in the way um, of the shot, like over here or all the way back here getting in the way where I'm trying to move around. So one monitor was just the way to go for me. Um, I did finally get the mechanical keyboard in and I finally got the power strip, which is uh, under the desk right now. And this mechanical keyboard is so much better than the Impal mechanical keyboard that I ordered. Um, the Impal mechanical keyboard was causing some issues in Linux and it had this awful, awful wine coming from it, kind of like a coil wine, and I just couldn't take it. So I used it for like two hours and immediately sent it back. And then I ordered one from, uh, I believe this is pronounced Drevo, uh, 84 key uh, blue switch mechanical keyboard. Once again, if you want to check this out, the link will be in the description and it just feels great. Um, some of you are probably wondering how much the build in total cost me. In total, um, this build costs 280 bucks. You could probably do it for a lot cheaper now because some of these parts have gone down in price. Um, for example, you can get the monitor from the Amazon warehouse for $135 right now. So I kind of wish I uh, waited two weeks to get like $20 off. But, you know, what can you do now? It's a little bit too late. And yeah, I do agree. The price was a tad bit steep, but it was 100% hands down worth it. I have no regrets. I've been using this for the past five days and it's just been wonderful to take my laptop and just instantly transition to a desktop workflow. That is priceless. I don't understand why pe why more people don't do this, especially college students. Like, it just blows my mind um, how much easier this has made my life. And, you know, I can instantly go from a desktop workflow to a laptop workflow too. All I have to do is push the button and bam, I got my laptop ready to go with all of the stuff that I was doing on this screen um, still on the laptop. So if I open it up now, there's a password on it, but you can see uh, the Amazon pages that I was looking at. So check that out. I mean, that's just great. I, I love this and it was 100% worth the uh, 280 bucks that I spent to set this up. Now I did run into one minor problem. I had some issues getting this to work with Windows through DisplayPort. For some reason, the uh, Intel graphic drivers and the DisplayPort on the docking station were just not playing well together. I got to work once somehow, um, and then I put the computer to sleep and it never worked again after that. So um, I spent, I think, probably about three hours troubleshooting that and I just gave up and I bought a DVI to HDMI cord instead. And now it almost works 100% in Windows except I'm limited to 1920 by 1080, um, which is fine. I mean, it looks okay on the screen and I don't use Windows 10 that much. I only use it to uh, uh, open up Active HDL, which is a uh, VHDL development environment. Um, and 1080p for that is just fine. I want the uh, widescreen monitor for that because I have to look at waveforms. Um, and it's really nice to have a lot of horizontal real estate for that. I don't have a problem with that because I rarely use Windows 10 at this point. I only use it for um, a few select programs. So it works with Windows, not 100%, but 
you know, as I've been saying, I'm a-okay with that. So that is going to be about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. We leave some feedback. Um, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links, both of which will be down in the description. And you can also support me by checking out my Patreon page. The link to that will also be down in the description. And don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. This was a really fun project, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I think that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.